Hi guys, I'm currently getting ready for Halloween and I decided why not show you my DIY costume. Um, it's a good one, I'm very proud of it. So I am looking for my bobby pins. My hair just fell out so I have to repin it. But my hair is currently French braided because I am going to pop a wig on and um, the easiest way that I've found is to braid my hair and then put like a one of those wig caps on. I don't have an actual wig, ca wig cap, I lost mine. So I'm just using the netting that the wig came in, which isn't the best thing, but it's okay. This, this costume's not like a super serious thing. So, um, what was I saying? My hair is pinned. I am going to dress up as Nacho Libre today and I've been wanting to do this for a while and I finally pulled everything together that I needed. So this is basically my inspo for the costume. Let me focus. Um, really easy, so red boots, blue um, leggings with a red, red kneecaps, red underwear, and then a red cape, and then an afro. So I wanted to try to get everything secondhand that I could, and I tried my best. I went to so many thrift stores over the last couple weeks to try and thrift this costume. The only thing that I was able to thrift is um, a red cape, which it wasn't even supposed to be a cape, it's supposed to be a skirt. but. I didn't want to buy a costume. Well, first of all, they didn't make women's or they don't make women's versions of this costume. And um, I wanted one that fit me well, flattered my body, you know? So um, I decided making it would be the best thing to do. Also, I didn't want to buy a costume. I just felt like it was such a waste of money, waste of um, material and product. Like it, this could easily be done because it's such a simple thing. So what I did was I found leggings that I could wear again, that I will wear again. Um, they're, they're like workout leggings, so I found them in this color. Then I found um, high-waisted red bikini bottoms, which I can 100% wear again, um, that I can wear on top. And then I have red socks, I have red boots. Like I told you, the cape that um, I'm gonna wear, I thrifted it. Sorry, I'm talking so much in this intro, but whatever. And then I got a nude bodysuit because he is obviously topless and free the nipple, whatever you wanna do, but that's not for me. I <laughs> wanna cover these babies. So I just got a nude bodysuit that I can wear again too. So basically what the costume is, um, I am going to do my face right now. And I did my makeup because I filmed another video for our other channel today. And um, I don't really wanna take it off. I didn't go crazy on the blush or anything. So I feel like it's fine. Nacho Libre has, um, Cute eyelashes, apparently. He uh, got a lash lift. He has a pretty big mustache, so I gotta figure out how to do that right now. I'm really nervous, especially doing this on camera. I don't want, I don't want to mess up. Uh, pretty, it goes pretty far out, so. The party is in like five hours, but I really wanna get ready and take photos, so I'm gonna be in this costume all freaking day long. I'm so nervous right now. So his mustache, he doesn't have anything in the middle, so I'm not gonna put anything in the middle. All right, I'm doing it. He has like a V right here. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I don't know how many of you are here from our other channel. If you are, hello. Um, but Nacho Libre is one of my favorite movies and some people love it and then other people just think it's so stupid, but I understand why people think it's like a weird thing, but I just think it's hilarious. So I wanted to do this costume and Chris, I was like, oh, why don't you be a Skeleto or a Chancho? And he's like, I don't, I've never seen the movie. I don't know who those people are. So I don't know, I just wanted to share because I was really sad. I think I need to get a little lower, closer to my lip. Cause it's like, oh, I guess his mustache is like that. This is my sexy Halloween costume. So the best lighting is in our office, which there's big windows in the front and I don't know if our neighbors will be looking, but they could to totally see me in here, but it's okay. I've done videos in here before. So, let us get nachoed. I don't even know if that makes sense. So, let me put on my costume and show you what I did. All right, my friend's telling me to bush up my eyebrows before I show you everything. Um, another thing, my wrist, <laughs> this looks so bad. So I had K-tape on and, um, in order to take it off, I have to use coconut oil and then I also used warm water. So my wrist is really red right now. I'm hoping it'll die down before tonight. It's a little swollen. My friend is telling me I'm not supposed to put it directly on my skin, but my OT told me to put it directly on my skin. So I have no idea. Um, it is not fun. So 
If you see redness in my hands, it's because they were under hot water and I was taking this off. Anyways, my friend's telling me to bush up my eyebrows and I really don't want to, but... I think I gotta get close. Oh, this shit, that looks bad. That's not good. Hold on. Okay, I was able to do it. Um, it doesn't look like horribly done, but it's definitely like if you follow the directions of what people tell you to do for, no, if you do what people tell you not to do on your eyebrows, you can do this because I just kind of like drew it in. Okay, so show you my outfit right now. So since he's nude, not nude, since he's topless, I just found a nude bodysuit and I was trying to find one that was the same color as my skin. It's very hard because nude isn't, of course, like I'm sure a lot of you know, nude isn't really applicable to a lot of people and it's usually too pale for my skin. So I just got what um, I could find and also it's something I could wear again. And then I found red bikini bottoms, which I can 100% wear again. They fit really well and they're, they're cute. And I also found blue leggings that I will be um, using again. Next, I have red socks, and he usually wears red boots. I have low um, like ankle boots, so I'm gonna wear these red boots, I mean these red socks, and then I'm gonna wear the ankle boots on top. The only thing is these leggings are a little, um, what's it called? These leggings are looser on my ankle, which I don't like, but whatever. So here are my socks. <sighs> Another thing is the reds don't match really. The underwear is super bright, but this is the best I could do. And I didn't want to like go crazy looking for socks. And then this is the thing I was talking about. So this is originally a skirt and so it's not my size. It's But you just do this and it's kind of like a slit skirt. But um, it works if you use it as a cape. Yeah, this is so exciting. I haven't, this is like the first time I actually wore the full costume together in one. So you guys can actually see. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yes, yes. And then lastly, he has, let me pull this up. Lastly, he has red kneecaps or like covers. And I don't have like, I don't know what the heck to put on my knees. So I found this in the house. We have a red um, reusable bag. Um, my knees aren't that big, so I'm not gonna need that big of a um, rectangle. Maybe I can, we have some used post-its here. Maybe I can use this as a base. This is really weird. Clearly I'm not meant for fashion tutorials. Um, I'll use this as like a base to, That might be good. I think that's good. Post-it note. I got my knee squares. I end up having to use a lot of the bag, unfortunately, but um, it's all I got here. He wears a cross necklace and I don't have one right now. I do have this. Um, I have this necklace that I, I just found it. I've had this forever. It's from Goodwill, so I'm just going to wear it backwards for now. Um, my friend said if she remembers... She, oh, she wants me to remind her, but she has a cross necklace. I told her to bring it. Um, I just gotta figure out a way to glue these or tape these to my knee without ruining my um, leggings. And then I'll put my wig on, and then I think we're good for the costume. Actually, this necklace doesn't look too bad. Um, I think I'm just gonna end up wearing this one. It's fine, right? So I'm gonna, I have fashion tape, I just cannot find it. So I might have to just use regular tape, which might not work, so I'll be back. This mirror's dusty, but I did it. I felt like this was the easiest way to show you. <laughs> I cut the bag and I taped it to my knees with fabric, or with uh, fashion tape. The only thing is when I bend my knees, it kind of comes off, so I'm just gonna keep this on as long as possible, and then if it comes off, it comes off. Here we go. So I don't have an actual wig cap, I just have like the netting that the wig came in, and. I'm just gonna put it on my head. I don't even know if it'll make a difference, but whatever. And then I ended up getting a wig. I really wanted to curl my hair and make it um, afro -y. Also, Chris is here, you can see his arm. <laughs> but um, wasn't happening, and also I just waited too long. 
and I didn't practice it, so I'm just gonna wear a wig. Um, and I think that'll be okay. It's a little bushier than I would want it to be, but I ain't about to trim the wig because who knows, so. I think that uh, I am officially Nacho Libre. <laughs> yeah, that was how to become Nacho Libre. <laughs> I don't know if that was any anything entertaining or educational, but it was fun for me. So we're gonna go outside. I'm getting wig hair in my eyes. We're gonna go outside and take some pictures. But Ramsey sees no dancing. He does not dance at the party. Ramsey's number one, he knows the secrets of desire. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this random ass video. Uh, hope you enjoyed my costume this year. I love it. I am very proud of the final outcome. So, see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>